I help businesses, freelancers learn chatbot marketing for their business to increase their leads and conversions. My name is DJ Dadula and I am the Marketing DJ. Subscribe to my channel and enjoy. Welcome again to our training where we, you know, learn how to set up your page into a chatbot, an automated responder to your clients and your businesses. All right, so in this lesson, we will learn how you can really set up a page and set up your bot cake as a continuation from our previous lesson. So if you haven't seen our previous lesson, the introduction and how you create your bot, maybe you can browse below, uh, see the lessons and see the links below where you can actually access bot cake. So there are a lot of links there and we have amazing bonuses for you and make sure you subscribe to this channel to see okay so now we will see see to it that your page is actually set up properly so that your chat bot your bot cake bot would function well and desired and specifically if your market is in the Philippines or US we will set those up okay so now we will log in again to your to our uh, bot cake and uh, if your page is actually logged into your browser probably you don't have to go through to a login page but right now you will see all your uh, connected bots so probably maybe you are connecting many pages right now into bot cake but now I can only see my page here so I'll click to my page and instantly I'll go to this dashboard which is really really easy to understand so right now we will first go to our page okay so go to your page and make sure that we will um, understand how chatbots really work on any pages okay so I'll go to my page maybe um, search my page here uh, my top DJ this is my shop so I know that I'm an admin here because I created this but for you to understand just go to you know settings and page roles and just you know learn things here so I am the admin if you have more in your team just probably have to type a name here or an email address and then just um, assign a role here okay so now what we need to do and check is we go to messaging in the settings and uh, probably um, uh, by the way I can give you the link below in the description to show you how you want to go there just you know replace it with your page okay so now we need to understand that if we are connecting a bot to your page we would want to eliminate the um, the autoresponder has that Facebook already set because in any page you can actually have an autoresponder it's like a bot but it's not really a bot it's just a simple autoresponder to respond to the customers or users uh, communicating or chatting your page but right now we will turn them off so in the messaging you just have to go to the setup here during a messenger conversation set up uh, automated responses just have to click setup and then you go to this page where we will actually um, turn off everything here so make sure you turn off frequently asked questions and appointments so actually appointment is really helpful if you are um, setting up an appointment and we will do this later on but for now I'll make sure that every everything here is turned off okay so after that we go we go back to this page the your shop and the page settings and then we will go to advanced messaging so in advanced messaging I want you to understand all the settings here that's really essential and if you follow this correctly uh, you would um, minimize the problems that you would want to encounter so probably you don't want to encounter them but since Facebook has been changing a lot every week and every day or every month so this could really change but for now I'm recording this November 2020 and uh, this what this is what it looks like okay so if if you see only bot cake here it means that there's only one bot connected to your page 
So these are the connected apps. You probably uh, see many apps here. So if your page actually has been connecting to a lot of apps, then you would see them here. And if you click the view permission, these are the permissions that actually uh, Botcake it can do to your page. Like it can uh, show the list of your pages, uh, the pages messaging, and it can read your page mailboxes. So this is really important to understand that uh, Botcake is reading all your messages. And you would see the benefit of this later on in our training. But for now, you just have to see that it can read messages and you also uh, can access your ads and this can be useful for later training okay so if you click the configure you probably will have to go to the business integrations so you need to understand this part because uh, if you remember on the first part of the training of the lesson um, if you connect a page you go to the business integration so you have to understand if you go to the business integration menu you will actually uh, configure or edit the permissions that Botcake it is accessing your personal account. Okay, your personal account actually are connected to your pages, and your personal accounts control everything that is connected to your Facebook page. So you just have to check here and make sure that you tick everything here. But if you have more security concerns, then you probably have to read the privacy policy. Okay. And then all you need to do is go back and we will go back here. So, so the response method actually are, have three parts. And this is really, really, really uh, easy to understand. And I'll go through here um, quickly. Okay. So responses are automated. This you can only do this if you don't respond or if you do not uh, use um, inbox, page inbox or pancake as your live chat um, app or an agent is answering. So you just have, you know, maybe an information. This is a fully automated bot that you are creating. Just use this. And if you're just, you know, your page, probably you don't, you don't want this because we're creating a bot cake. But we will have to choose between here, but I'd rather use this because most of the pages uh, you are managing, you will want also to communicate to your users. You just want to uh, dive in and answer the inquiries if the bot is not um, helpful for them anymore because, you know, there are limitations and people want to communicate to a real person. So you just have to select this. Responses are partially automated with some support by people. So that's you or your team. Okay, so after that, we'll just have to select this. This one is a handover protocol where you tell Facebook, hey, Facebook, um, after the people message, uh, actually, this is how my apps, you know, do to them. If you click configure, the primary receiver, actually, this one receives the message and it automates the, the responses. So basically you want to select bot cake here as a primary and select page inbox as the secondary. Okay. Take note. If you do this, bot cake will pull the messages in your page inbox. If, um, and then put it in the done folder. So all automated responses, uh, Botcake will put on the done folder. It means that there, uh, those are the, the the messages of people where Botcake is handling. Okay, so you can handle those if you put them on the main. So if your secondary uh, receiver is the page inbox by default, then you can actually um, control the messages that is. Um, uh, being put in the done folder, you can put them in the main folder. So when Botcake answers back, you can actually put them back to the page inbox. So later on this lesson, the, on, on our next videos, I'll teach you how you'd want to control those. But for now, remember that you will want to do this. So if you're using Pancake, which is in the other lessons, then you will want to select Pancake here. But for now, since we're only using Botcake as our lesson, just put page inbox. So right now here, 
uh, I want you to click the request for the one-time notification. We will tackle this on uh, the next uh, lessons, but just request this. This is for our future concerns. So I will uh, go over this, um, the next lessons, but for now, just click confirm for us to set up everything. So now we have set up our page and we can make sure that we are good to go. So we just have to click back to our page here and if you want people to communicate with you to your bot right away, just, you know, add a button here and then choose to send a message to you. So from here, people can now send a message. If we click a view as a visitor, people will see this button, send a message. Okay. So let's go back to Botcake and see what we can find to set up your page initially before we even start to build Okay, so now from here, before I tackle every part of this, um, you know, the platform, you just have to go to settings and you have to understand that we see in the general settings, we see the currency. The currency here is actually by default in VND, which is a Vietnam dollar. So we have to select either US dollars or PHP. So PHP for me is Philippines. So I will select this because my place, my country is Philippines. So from here, we've just um, set up everything into a Filipino or Philippine based settings. Okay. So this is actually what you need to know for now. And uh, maybe we can check the, the, the admin. So make sure. Uh, we, you will see in the future that you can control actually the status of the admin here in the admin section where you will want to assign the roles for your users. So right now, those are the essential um, settings that you need to know. And if you want to uh, um, turn this on, this one is a get started where people can actually see the get started and then start a conversation with you they will have to see that. So what it looks like, actually, if you show this as a preview, you will see this get started. If we close that, if we check the preview, you won't see the get started here. So this is what it looks like in the mobile phone. And then you will see the get started when they message you. So if we check in our page and send a message, you won't see any get started. They can communicate right to you so if we close that and go back to our bot cake turn this on and then when people click the send message button they will see the get started <laughs> so the, the thing here is that people will see actually when they tap the get started button um this page will see your public info there are uh, cases where you want to put that and when not to but for now we will turn this on for some reasons okay so right now that's the end of this video i hope you learned something and make sure your page is properly uh, set up before you even start to you know create your flows or do something inside your bot gig thank you very much for watching and i see you on the next lesson make sure to click subscribe below and the bell button for you to see all the videos and lessons that we are doing here and check the links below where they are helpful for you and those are prepared uh, exactly for you thank you very much again for watching and learning with my channel make sure to hit subscribe and if you have a time please like this button like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below all the links and uh, you know possible uh, resources and uh, groups are in the description for you designed for you to learn and engage with us see you on my next video again and thank you very much